What is up guys, this is Max Square bringing you back to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple type on text effect, so let's go take a look. So, so that is the effect, it's pretty simple, so let's just go ahead and get started. So once you have started up After Effects, you want to create a new composition. Running through the settings, we're going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 leave the frame rate, and then set it for a three second duration, and then you can use any background color you want. I'm just using a dark gray. Once your composition is created, go ahead and select your text tool and just drag out a little window. This is where we will add our text, so you can go ahead and type in anything you want. Now in my example, I use starting upload. Now once you've finished adding your text, you wanna size your text window to the size of your text, so it is pretty much edge to edge. Then you want to just center your anchor points and then just align it to your composition. Now with your text layer selected, we want to select our rectangle tool and then just select the top left corner and then drag it out. As you can see, as we drag this out, our text is starting to appear. Now once you have done that, go down into your mask properties, come to 20 frames and set a keyframe for the mask path. Then we want to select our text layer, not the mask. Select the bottom right and the top right corners and then drag it to the left. You can see as we do this, our text is disappearing. Let's just jump to 20 frames so we can see our text fully loaded. Then what we want to do is create a new rectangle. So let's just create a new shape layer and just drag it down. Now if you just select the rectangle tool and drag, it'll automatically create a new shape layer for you as long as you do not have any other layers selected. After that, just move anchor point to the center and then horizontally align that. And just before we do anything else, let's rename the shape layer one to blinker. Select P on your keyboard, jump to zero frames, set a keyframe, jump to 20 frames, select the rectangle and hold down shift to create a straight line and just drag this to the right. Let's jump back to zero frames and select our blinker layer Select T on our keyboard and set an opacity keyframe. Let's select both our layers and bring up all of our properties by selecting U on our keyboard. Now we want to drag the mask animation as well as the position and select multiple keyframes, just hold on shift as you drag. Let's bring these to the start of 20 frames. Now going back to zero frames, let's bring this opacity keyframe down to 0% go to 5 frames and go to 100, then go to 10, back to 0, and then on 15 frames we want to bring it back to 100. Go to 1 second and 10 frames, set another opacity keyframe, go to 15 frames, 0% opacity, jump to 20 frames and go back to 100, and then at 25 frames we want to bring it down to 100, and then lastly, go to two seconds and put this at 100% once again. If we play back our animation, you can see our blinker starts to blink and then it reveals our text. Now, as you can see, this is very easy to do and it's quite a simple process, but hopefully you'll be able to use this in some animation or another. Well guys, that is the tutorial. I hope this helped you in some way. If so, please be sure to click that like button down below and be sure to subscribe for many more videos like this one. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.